All right, people, if you see my name is Van Ahn at this time when Arsenal has a game or two, you know it's very important that we have this conversation. And today I have a very uh, special guest with me to share in this one. His name is Darlan Clark, a Jamaican in the United Kingdom. That's where he lives right now. But um, attended William Nib High School. We're going to hear his story. We're going to ask some questions and, you know, just know and hear how he's connected to, 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 to some... Uh, uh, let, let, let's say it this way, a former big star in Jamaica and probably a present star or a star probably in the making. Um, so let's let's hear from him. Uh, we're going to hear the story right now. Welcome, Mr. Clark, to I Am Sure Sports. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you very much for having me. Um, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure, really, to come here and um, be able to share history of my sports making <laughs> all right, as well as the future. All right. yeah man and so good to have you i know one of the good things is that we're both arsenal fans and definitely so, uh, <laughs> yes 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 so i actually so, live on the doorstep of arsenal if you if you don't mind me saying that really yeah man walking this I mean, you know Oh, wonderful, because we're trying to get in touch with some Arsenal players. You know, you're the man that we need to talk to, to, to see if we can jump the fence and go over there and and talk to some of those Arsenal players who are connected <laughs> to, to come and represent us, you know. Fence, fence is very high. <laughs> but the fence what? is very high. It's possible. Uh, don't worry. They, they always Anything say once you're Jamaican, if there's a will, there is a way. There's a, but, yeah, uh, there's a way, definitely. Yeah, man. But um, I want you to begin by telling us, though, a little bit about you know your beginnings in Jamaica, and your your your, your just your journey um in 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 sports in general, um from your early beginnings in the island shores of Jamaica. Yes. Um. So my name, as as you um said, is Darlin Clark. Yeah. I'm from a little country place called Hamden. Um, then where Hamden Estate is where they make the um the rum and thing like that. So basically Hamden Estate Cargin to be exact. You know, um I went to William Nib um from 1980 um to 86, really. So I actually spent six years in school at William Nib. Um when I left, I represented um, represented William Nib in many sporting disciplines, not just football, but um, athletics as well as cricket, you know. And um, after leaving William Nib, I went to um, join the army, um, where I spent um, eleven years. Um, went back to school, gained a few more subjects, and um, went back to William Nib to. Um, coach football and athletics um, after which I left um, went to home, um, Westwood High School because I, I left William Nib and I went up to Westwood to um, to start the, the track and field program you know and um, they did fairly well in the year first time they went to Miami Classics I was the one who actually took them there um, they went there and medal went took them to um, Boys and Girls Championship, National Championship, and they, they were able to gain a few points. I mean, with um, clever thinking, you know, putting them in the right um, events and things like that. They gained points, and they were happy with that, Which I, and I was happy as well that they, the program was what it was, really. So that's okay, so where I am. Yeah. yeah, from William. So, so when they said the army, you went, you were in the Jamaica Defense Force. Did you play? Yes, sports I was. Yeah. While you were there. Second, please. Did you, participate, did you participate in sports while you were at the? Yes, I mean, uh, I mean, that was one of my my intention to go there and um continue with the sports. I I played um football um at um, battalion level. I was called up um um by the army coach at the time, but unfortunately um. I couldn't make it because um, of certain reasons, you know. Um, I did a little bit of um, track and field there as well, you know, because my main focus really was um, on furthering my education, really, you know. Okay, so, okay. So, so in yeah. terms of your coaching, because you started your first, like, your entrance into coaching, track and field, was at William Nib. 
I tell you something. I mean, it, it's it professionally and a big time. It was at William then. And um, okay, but I started coaching at a very early age because um, I don't know. I coached um, Henry Clark, <laughs> um, who is from my district. Who is also my cousin. You know, I I used to do a little bit of things with him now and then, but. On a professional level, I started um, coaching track and field at William Mill. Uh, at, at what what year what year did you start? Like what, what was your first year in terms of coaching at William Nib? Okay, in terms of coaching at William Nib, I started coaching at William Nib in 96, 1996. Um, I was coaching football um, with my good friend and classmate Shanavan de Souza. You know, after okay. which. Um, after which um, Paul Tigat Davis was employed um, to the school. And I was I was working alongside Paul Tigat Davis um, from 1998 onwards. Okay, okay. That, that's at William Nibbe. I remember when Tigat was there. So you were there while you sent Bolt was at William Nibbe? Yes, man. I, I <laughs> um, Unfortunately, you know, the thing is, a lot of people have mentioned the fact that I was his first coach. Oh, you understand? Okay. I was, I was his first uh, uh, about every almost everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you were the initial coach that Usain Bolt started out with at William yeah. in track and field, definitely in track and field. But he always yeah. he always shared a story that he, his whole track and field journey started with him having some cricket practice or some some stuff like that that he was playing cricket, and it was from there our our. Um, th that that he was identified, sort of, and um, the thing is, you know, um, I mean, because you you and I know how the school system sets. So if if for example, you might see an athlete, for example, and he, he might look a bit quick, so you would recommend that he goes on do a little bit of running, you know, and um, that was that was the case with um, Usain Bolt. So when you say Bolt um, started track and field, um, his, his first love was actually cricket and basketball as well. You know, at William Nib. At William Nib. At Williams. Did he you play? Know, did he play I, any I don't know. Course. Say again. Did he play any of those at William Nib? Like no, at all. I mean, he just he just did it for fun. Okay. Okay. He just did it for fun, but um, he he was coming from a um. A cricket background from his from his um community Sherwood in Sherwood content you know um so so most of those places are just mostly cricket and um a little bit of scrimmage football if you understand you know yeah so there's no but there was no basketball court or anything like that but um but when you seeing uh when you seeing started track and field officially it was at William Nibbery really. and and you were the coach I was the coach. I okay. was the coach. Myself and um, there's another guy called um, Bobby Brown. And um, yes. then we have um, Miss Top, um, Miss Sonia Top, um, who was the, um, the manager at the time. But so how, but as how, William long, did you, how long did you have him as a as a an athlete that you coached, or did you I go had to him chumps? Any had him from, any um, say again. Did you do any events like boys champs, girls champs with him, Western really? Yeah, man. Western the first champs. time, the first time he went to, the first time he went to um. Champs, I was the coach then. Really? Yeah, man, I Whoa. was the coach. The first time he went to champs, I was the coach. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, man, I right, was so the tell coach. Us, tell us, tell us about, tell us about that. Time. I mean, was he the? I mean. Did you know that you would have been that good from that time? Did you see I, that? Um, um, I'm gonna tell you something. Were, were they were they at least there that you thought, "Wow"? I mean, yeah, you saying Bolt is good at this, but we also have this person here at William as well. What was that? Yeah, like man. Um, you saying Bolt wasn't the star? You saying Bolt wasn't the star enough? Who was the star at William? The name? star at Jack Field at the time was Marvin Anderson. Oh, at William name? Yeah, man. But didn't Marvin Anderson move to? St. Diego. St. Diego. Diego. Yeah, man. Marvin Anderson went to St. Diego after he, he came back from World Juniors. 
So okay, so you say so Marvin Anderson was at William Nid and he was a, was he older than you saying? Yeah, man. Marvin is older than you saying, man. Yeah. Okay. So Marvin you quote older. Marvin Anderson as well? Marvin Anderson is one of my first star at the Oh, okay. Interesting. Whoa. Yeah, man. Whoa. So, so in touch. <laughs> okay. So so when you went to, I mean, T tell us a little bit about that, that whole journey of coaching and bringing at least like Marvin Anderson from a school like William Nib, who wasn't expected to win even Western champs possibly, but to get points and stuff. And even Usain Bolt, because Usain Bolt started out doing 400. Did you ever dream of him being a 100 meter man? No, the thing is, you know, Usain Bolt hasn't started out doing 400, you know. A lot of people don't understand. Not even Usain Bolt himself, you know. Usain really? Bolt started... <laughs> You say Bo started, <laughs> started out doing um the 200 and the 100. You understand? Yeah. And and um I was a coach that um there's another coach. When I left and I when I left William Nib, I, I was still a part of the program because I was still a part of the football program as well as the track and field program, but I was not the the person who was totally in charge of this the um the whole running of it at the time. So I left and I went to Weston to build the program at Weston. So at the time, um, you said there was a guy called Michelle. Michelle is now at Cornwall College. Michelle? Uh, I think his name is Michelle. Dwight. Yes. Yeah, he's now at Cornwall College. And um, I can remember, um, if, I don't know if you know when you say he was talking, he's always talking about a coach that always said that he's, he cannot do the 100. He should be two and four. Yeah. And I was yeah. the one who actually, yeah, I was the one who actually said to him, listen, man, your top end speed is very good, but your turnover, the, the, the start is poor. Because at the time, he was very weak, you know? So yeah. I, we wanted him yeah. to um, be able to run the four where he was good enough to run the four or run the two, make any mistakes that he could make, and then still win the race. Because that all, that's how good he was, you know? So um, then Michelle took over, and I and I actually said to Michelle, let the man run um, two and four. You know, you understand. So okay, so that is how you move from the one hundred to the two hundred and the four hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Uh -huh. All right, all yeah, right, man. all right. So there was Marvin Anderson, um, um, Usain Bolt, any any other athlete at William Nib Junior time that probably represented. The, junior or senior teams no 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 they, they haven't gone on to um to represent jamaica that marvin and um and you saying was, was the only two from my from my time from my era you know okay. and i tell you something i mean i mean even vernica campbell had a sister i don't i can't remember her name she uh, um she was from clarkstown in chilani very very good athlete and if she had continued to run because Renica Chambly is from Trelawney as well. Yeah, man, she's from top Trelawney up Alberta on Clarkstone end. And um, but she has a sister that was very, very good as well. Very good. And if I was still in Jamaica, um at William Nib at the time, I think that girl would have gone on to represent Jamaica as well. You know? Okay. You understand? Yeah, man, but you say more did a part of my history, and I mean take it or leave it because even I tell you something. You see him both, um, mother and father. It's Jennifer and Mr. Willesley. Yeah? The first time they saw you see him both run, I was the one who actually picked them up from Sherwood and took them to the National Stadium. Introduced them. Yeah? That, that introduced was what? Them what, 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 what event Say again? What event did you take them to? It was the um the juniors. It was the juniors where you won the um the two hundred meters. Oh, the world juniors. The world juniors, yeah. That's the first yeah. time they saw him. That's the first time they saw him run live in living colors. Yeah, and so I took they, them. They I went. had not been to champs nor Western champs nor any of those developmental meets. No. No. That's the reason why, if you notice, even Mr. Bolt, he didn't even want to go. He didn't want to fly and go anywhere to watch. 
Because his country, my mind not. I mean, we, 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 sometimes we, um, we don't get the push, you know, because even me, for example, I have, re I have represented Jamaica, you know, in Chakaville, you know. Yeah? Yeah, man. I've been to Carifta Games, CSC Games and Carifta Games. I had the triple oh. jump, um, in 1986, um, the best triple jump um, competition. I was a part of it, you know, <laughs> where myself, um, Patrick O'Connor, and a guy called Campbell from Clarendon College. We, I broke the triple jump record, and then, and, and then Patrick O'Connor came and broke it, <laughs> and and after Patrick O'Connor broke it, then Campbell decided that the goal in is in 1986. 1986. Yeah, and so you went to the you went to the CSE games, you went to the Carifta games, and did what? Yeah. Triple jump. Triple jump, yeah. Triple jump. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Man. All right. So when you went to Westwood, what was that like? I mean, any notable athletes that you'd have worked with at Westwood? Because they're not the you know, school, yeah. But no, not really. I mean, the the the, the um the program the um there were average students who who you could take the chance to um. To, to earn some points and represent their schools with honor, really. You know? There was no athlete there who you could say, well, you could push on to to at the at the at the time to move on to represent um Jamaica in a sense. They are they are very clever students. I mean, smart academically and all of that. You know, and they were they enjoyed the moment. They enjoyed the moment while I was really there. Because um even the head teacher wasn't happy that I left really. But I had to do what yeah. I had to do, you know. <laughs> yeah, because they don't have a track and field program, I think. I don't know if I've, in a while, I've heard anything about Westwood participating, even qualifying for champs and those major things. They probably still do, but you don't hear a lot. Yeah, I, I'm not sure, because since I left, um, I, I'm not sure if there was any program or there is any program still happening there. You know, when I left, um, I don't, I honestly don't know, you know, okay. honestly don't know. Okay, yeah. uh, but let me let me know because I, I always want to find out if even with a Usain Bolt, like when people like you would have seen him, like you saw fastest man in the world. You saw like this guy one day will be the fastest one hundred meter athlete of all time male, and the fastest two hundred meter athlete of all time. Did did you did you see that, or it was in the latter stages of his career that you said, "Whoa, man! I didn't know that he was so good. Looks like he can be." You know, are no. you the, <laughs> no, man, you I knew these fast times from that early. But well, the thing is, you know, I mean, I mean, I know you see him, Bolton, and um, I knew then that you see him would be a world beater. I knew that. Because um, I remember when I took Usain to champs, and um, Usain Bolt actually, <laughs> I, I mean, if he's listening or if he if he's gonna be listening to this program, he might not like what I'm gonna say. But when Usain Bolt went to champs, class three, first time, because remember those times you don't have class four boys. It's just class right, three. and you still don't have class four boys at champs, yeah. yeah. Class three, yeah. Class three upwards. I mean, first time he ran. Class three. He was fourth in the two hundred meter. But before he won, he won, um, he went on to to qualify to the semifinals, and we were staying just a few meters away from the stadium. And I remember Miss Top came and called me and told me that he was in a room crying. Him and um, a guy called Courtney Affleck. I think Courtney Affleck is a police officer now in Montego Bay, Jamaica. And I said, "Why are they crying?" Because they, they think more or less that they're gonna not gonna medal in the um the event. I said they don't need to. And I went in there and said to them, listen, man, you have done what you, you needed to do. So what actually happened is that um you reach the final, go out there now and win a medal for yourself. But unfortunately, he didn't, because he was beaten by a good friend of mine, um, son called Spence. <laughs> Peter Spence. I don't know if you know Spence. Um, that's Sean, Sean of Van D'Souza. You know about Sean of Van D'Souza? Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, man. I know D'Souza. Sean of Van D'Souza is Sean of Van D'Souza's nephew that won the race at the time. Okay. 
Yeah, so Charlamagne de Souza. So, so both first finals at champs in the two hundred meters, right? It was the two hundred yeah. meters. Yeah. He finished in the finals. Fourth. He finished where? Fourth. Fourth. Yeah. In the finals. Yeah, in the so finals. No, no medals, and he didn't did, and he didn't do the two hundred four hundred. No, he, he didn't do the four hundred. No. So his first year at champs, he only did the, the two hundred meters and the really two hundred and one hundred, but he didn't make the finals. He didn't even make the semifinals in the um the one in the one hundred. Right. Okay, so it was uh, okay. Were you there for his second year at champs? At the second, no, that's it. That's the year I moved on to um to West but I was still at the school. I was still a part of the program because okay. Michelle being there. Um, I was. Let me tell you, you, you know, our schoolboy sports go in Jamaica. You have to have a firm man, a, a man who can bat up the boy. Them, <laughs> put it that way, you know. Yeah, yeah. I met yeah. The, yeah, and when we said bottle, we don't mean like you know. Yeah, you know we know what you mean that. in 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 Jamaican in the Jamaican dialect. Yes. 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 You know, so I, I was the man that they would call to say, well, you saying about not training, you know, saying about nothing. Because I remember one time I was at Westwood and I got a call to say that he was on his way to Falmouth. You know, didn't want to train, and I left Westwood and and drove down, almost crashed the time when I saw him because I saw him walking on the street and I, and I have to, Stop and say, listen, man, go back to training right now. You understand? Yeah, man. Yeah. But um, but when I played a, a vital role in in, in development, I used to and in the first part of um before we went to um. Because when I left and I came here in England, you know, in the, um we were still in contact. On a, um, okay. On a regular basis, he would never come to England and and um, not contact me or anything like that. But um, even before he went to um, the Beijing Olympics, yeah, man, I sat down with him after the, the Crystal Palace um, Diamond League. And we chatted until about 2 o'clock in the morning. Okay. You know? Chatted about 2 o'clock in the morning. If you notice, I sent you a picture with um, me and him in a green shirt, sitting yes. on a wall. Yeah. Yes, yes. That That's was, that was a... Yeah, that was before. That um, was before Beijing. Yeah, that was before Beijing. If you notice, I had the year on my head at the time. You know? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That was before Beijing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was sat down and we chatted. And um, even when he came back from Beijing, we're still in touch because his agent, I, as, I have all the contacts. I have his agent contact and everything, you know? And they would tell me where they are and I'll go down and see them, you know? Um, and things like that. But um, that's what it is. We have we are not in touch as we used to be, because he's out of my league now. I mean, <laughs> okay, 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 he's okay. Out of my league now, so yeah. we, are, we are not in yeah. touch. I mean, if I, if I'm, because I remember 2017 when he was here, I was there with them, um, and um, I happened to bump into him a couple of times. But one thing with you saying, I mean, he would never pass. And say and not say hello, and it's always Mr. Clark for him, you know. Even Marvin and his, as old as they are now, is Mr. Clark, which I which I really appreciate the fact that they they still have that respect, you know. Definitely, definitely. So, yeah. are you still involved in coaching now? Yes, man. Yes, man. Um, I am coaching track and field. I, you see, because when I came here, when I came here, I wanted to get into football. Because I left um, Jamaica on a winning note. Because at the time when I left Jamaica, we um, we just won the um, we just won the A League with Village. Paul Tigat and myself and and a guy called Marvin Tate. You know. Yeah, man, I know Tate. Yes. Yeah, we won, we won the with A League, and, and and I tell you something, the A League was full of stars, you know. Yeah, man. A League was full of stars because you have people. Yeah, like yeah the A League was a very good. I mean, it was at like the second tier to the Premier League. So yeah, I remember man. That, yeah. But I tell you something. I mean, when our team could have, our team could have, could could compete with any Premier League team. Yeah, we, we could they outrun. Village team did. They, they were undefeated in the A League. Yeah, man. We outrun yeah. every team. I remember one time we went to um Constant Spring to play against Constant Spring. That time Constant Spring was high flying. And we played a 12 o'clock match. Constant Spring couldn't manage. Because my team was one of the fittest teams in Jamaica at the time. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, man. What he got, you know, that T got though. I mean, I don't know if T got has ever had a failed team, you know. He, he always, somehow, the teams that he has coached, even if they don't win the title, they always play attractive football and they always in and among the, 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 the top there. I don't know. You see, he's at Arnett. When he was at Mount Pleasant, it's the same thing. They, 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 they yeah. play and perform at a very high level. Sometimes they don't end up winning a title. But yeah, but that village team was a very, that is a village team that had like um, tier 4 Bennett and yeah. those guys. Yeah, man. Fabian Dawkins, Shane Fabian Crawford. Dark, Shane um, Crawford, Mark yes. Williams. Mark yes. Williams, rest in peace. You know? Ricketts, Ricketts um, used, was a keeper too. Who? Donovan. Ricketts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we we also have um Beaver. Oh god. Beaver, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we also had Beaver. And uh, we had Alric Henry. Okay. Alric Henry was the keeper during the A League time. Ricketts came after afterwards, yeah, yeah. Qualify for, for the um for the Premier League. Okay, so when you, you village had won the A League and then you went overseas because you wanted to get involved in football. That's not that's not the reason, no. I, I migrated. No, because, no, because um, you said earlier that because you left Jamaica on a winning note. Yes, that, so, and I wanted yeah. to get in football when I came here. Yeah, you know, so I went on to do my UFAB as soon as I came here. I went on to do my UFAB course. Okay. Yeah. So I am officially a, a UEFA B qualified football coach. But the thing is, when I look at the politics on, of it, you know, I decided to go back to, to coaching track and field. Track and field, okay. Yeah, and I did, I did a few courses and so on, you know, in track and field. Um, got qualified and then coached a few at least that went on to represent um, England. No, not yeah. England, but Britain, Great Britain, yes. And, Great Britain. Um, yeah, and I still have some right now. I have um about two or three at least who are who are actually knocking at the door at the moment. You know? Yeah, any any of those at least are I mean notable at least that we in Jamaica would have known that that has that they have represented um if, Great Britain and some at some point you'd have played a part in their Yeah career. man. Yeah man. And loads of them. Loads of them. Um because we, we had a group um at a place called New River. So we um people like even now you have Lavia and Lena Nielsen who is representing England um England at the moment. You have okay. Ama Pippi, you have um this girl called Bianca Williams who represent Bianca, um, yes. Yeah, Bianca Williams. Bianca Williams came through our our system as well as you, you know. You have um Luke, Luke um Fagan and um and Tarima Thompson. You know, so we have, a, we have a few at least that went on to represent it, um to represent England, you know, through our Whoa. system. So, so, so I mean, yeah. A, yeah, so all of these things you have for being licensed track and field coach, man. Oh, 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 I mean, William Nib had a good team like last year. I see all Kevin Clark, Mark, what is his name? I mean, so many of their players are, are playing all over the place in the Premier League. And you mm. didn't come in and give them a hand. You didn't come back and you know. Well, give I wish them I could, a, a you know. season. Well, I wish I yeah. could, but um, I'm 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 actually teaching at the moment, you know. So, so I'm in, okay. in school at the moment. So I mean, it, it's difficult for me to leave during that time and come because I'm I'm still in touch with um Jerry. Because. Oh, do do I, Jeremiah? Yeah, man. Because what actually happened? I was the one who actually asked Jerry to go to William Nibble. So I'm still, yeah. I still have, a, yeah, man. I was the one, man, because I'm respecting that William. I, 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 yeah, I, I need to talk. I need to talk to him, you know. Do it, Jeremiah. I need yeah, to. Yeah, man. We can, <laughs> I can get. I can get him in. I no, can man, get no, him. No, man. I know. I have his. I have his number. But what I'm saying is that I need to. Uh, I need. I need to. I, I need to talk to him. That's not up to you because we should have spoken. Okay. But I didn't know. You, you told you, you actually encourage him to go there. Yeah, man. Because at the time, Casman Williams was was um. Was coaching the team, and Casman Williams yeah. wanted him because um, and I asked him to go there and, and assist. I personally call him, and ask him to go and assist. So as a Trelawney man, right? I know you. Yeah. You seem like you're more into football. What is happening with Trelawney's football? Why, you know, um, William Nib is yet to win 
any major silver rearing schoolboy football mm -hmm. in, 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 in years, well, let's put it that way. And um, since Village, Trelawney teams have struggled to even get back in the top flight since that successful period when Village, and uh, you know, they had invaders before that as well, yeah. or during that time. So there mm -hmm. have been a couple of teams from Trelawney, Trelawney that have done well. What, what is going on with, I mean, you seem to be still involved in it. What is going on with football in Trelawney? Why are we not seeing greater success? We see young players like Crystal J. Daly um, coming out of Dwight Jeremiah Camp and Holland. Those guys yeah. have moved on. Um, yeah. Like I just told Kevin Clark, a couple of them, but we're still not seeing, you know, a team like Village emerge out of Trelawney. Well, you see, when, um, let me say something. I mean, it, it's the structure, you know. It's the structure. And, and remember one time I did an interview um, with, I think it was TVJ or, or um, Jamaica. And I, and, I, and I mentioned the fact that um, without a, a proper youth program, you know, you, you cannot progress. You understand? And um, one other thing that um, happened is that the structure of the Chilean football is not good and the amount of money that is um, should be available to develop the sports is not there either. No money, no interest. You understand? The, um, with the, the, the Dakastock Cup team, and I spoke to Jerry about that because... During my time and Tigat's time, we were we were feeding off each other. You understand? So we have that mutual respect. So Tigat know definitely that if something is not going right, he could turn around and, and he could ask me questions, you know? And I could give him um constructed uh constructive um argument towards um changing us changing certain things. But what Jerry what Jerry um need jerry need a very good assistant with him you know somebody who know the game somebody need to push the game somebody who's going to be firm and not soft and and let them know the boys know that listen we are here to win something we cannot be going through every year to um quarterfinals and finals and get knocked out after giving um playing so well because the children of football needs development. It needs serious people. And, and, and I think um, the, 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 the TFA needs restructuring as well. You understand? You cannot see football as a... All right, look at Mount Pleasant, for example. Yeah? I happened to... When Tigat was at Mount Pleasant, I happened to pass through Mount Pleasant because there's no way I would be in Jamaica and don't check property. You know? Yeah. And I happened to pass through Mount Pleasant and... He got give me a tour of Mount Pleasant. And I was so impressed. It actually reminded me of some of the places there. Uh, because I took my son, who is, who is um, my son is 10 years old now. And, and he, he went to um, a trials <laughs> in, um, at Spurs, which um, I was a bit nervous about because um, I'm, I'm, I'm a Spurs enemy, you know. Yeah, that's yeah. I'm wondering. Are you, are you sending your son to Spurs, man? That's not good. No, 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 no. He was invited to a trial because you, you cannot... You cannot deny them that opportunity. You, know. you understand? So so I, I took him and he didn't make it really, but I mean he did very well. Okay. But it was the structure and development in, in, in Chilani need to, to improve. Yeah, and I know you were saying that. So when, um you're basically saying then that what you saw at Mount Pleasant wasn't far off from what you saw at Tottenham. Because no, 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 no. Honestly, honestly not. Honestly okay. not. Seriously. Okay. Because I'm, I'm telling you, football, you see, <laughs> I've listened to a, a loads of people talking about football and football academy. Grassroots football is a big thing in, in England. Because that's where the scouts go to, to find the, the children. The, the, um, the seven, the nine, the ten-year-old. Okay. You know? And then bring them to the, um, the Premier League academy. You understand? and develop them you know do we have that in jamaica we don't have that in jamaica we don't have that in chilean because i was if i even suggested to one of my friends who's into football in jamaica that listen start a thing start a, a, a um academy i will provide you with the, the football and all the necessary cones and everything that you need to start and up to now i haven't heard anything 
You understand? Whoa. Up to now, I haven't heard anything. Wow. That's interesting. That's interesting because I know a lot of persons are, I don't know if any is in Trelawney, but I know a lot of persons all across Jamaica trying to do that, you know, get the kids early um, involved in football earlier than that normal through, through academies. Though they are not formalized yet, but at least there is that effort. So I'm surprised that someone would have the opportunity of doing something like that in, in Trelawney and not, and, not, and not do that. That is, I'm telling that you, is... and the thing is, man, I think, let me tell you something. You see, you see, you cannot look at it as a hustle. If you look yes. at it as a hustle, you're going to fail. You understand? You have to look at it as a development. And through the development stage, things will happen for you. You understand? Yeah. I think some people that... are saying, though, what about the persons who will say to you, well, I don't know what you're talking about, you know, uh, Mr. Clark, because you don't know that Man, I struggle for surviving in Jamaica. So, oh, man, I will, you go do this for free. And then I don't know what I'm going to get when I already I struggle. I can't Not do that. We need free. some money to do it because that, that's, a, that's the reality of their situation, possibly. Yeah, but, but you're not doing it for free. You're not doing it for free, you know. There are ways and means of going about doing it. You understand? And you can earn yourself money and earn even more money. All right, let me give you an example. My, my, my group. Which I'm, I is my group. I own this, my track and field group. I have about maybe 75, 80 children from age five to eighteen, right? And um, I can guarantee, I can tell you that about fifty percent of them cannot afford to pay their way. You understand? What are you gonna do? Yeah. You can't turn them away, bro. Because maybe the mother or the father or whosoever might find find a um a fifty pound down the road. You understand? And I appreciate the fact that you have been helping them throughout the time and they might just come and say, Okay, hold this at this time, hold it. But this athlete, that athlete can all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you an example. I know you want to go and watch match still. No, 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 man, no, no, man. This is good, man. Go okay, let me tell you something. Marvin Anderson. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to touch on Marvin Anderson. Marvin Anderson going to um, World Juniors trial. Yeah? Couldn't afford it, brother. Yeah? Went to William Nib Bursary. William Nib Bursary couldn't find the funds. Wow. I went to the now deceased. Um... Call him Bull Bull. <laughs> MP. Yes. At in Jelani. And he gave us 10 grand to go to Kingston. Two athletes. We slept in the same room. Me, Marvin, and, and, a, and another athlete called Affleck. Yeah? I asked the um, I asked the people at the hotel at the time to give us three single beds. You know? We slept in the same yes. room for two days. And that is how Marvin went to um, national trials for the youth games. Wow. Well, sometimes you have to make some sac sacrifices. You have to. Yeah. You have to. You know, because, and then guess what? Marvin has developed into a star. And then Marvin is now managing one of the biggest stars in the world. Ilian Thompson, Hira. Oh. So the Anderson, Marvin Anderson uh, management group has, is managing so many athletes. And guess what? I'm telling you, had soft to Marvin, never ever come to England and don't contact me. If I don't call Marvin within two weeks, three weeks, Marvin would contact me and say, Well, Mr. Clark, you all right? You understand? If I need any equipment or any gears, I can call Marvin and say, Marvin, listen, we need a couple of sweats or a couple of top and so on. So that means the William Lee track and field program should be one of the the, 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 the the best programs because you have a Marvin Anderson from the school, you have a Usain Bolt. So that, that track and field program, except you may not have the quality athlete, but in terms of equipment and training gears, yeah. you know? Yeah. I think I think it all boils down to trusting them. Okay. Boys want to trust. 
There's a there's a management. <laughs> there's a management at, at William Live now, you know. Really? Yeah, man, Dagati. His name is Dagati. Mr. Dagati is at William Live? Yeah, man. He from oh, Rossi is oh, to William Live. How, how are Dagati? Since when? Yeah, man. He has been there for two years now, I think. Right now, presently he's in is in the States at the moment. I mean with the team. Hold on. How are, I didn't years. know that. Oh. Then listen, the, the greatest success man has had, you know, in track and field is during how hard Dagati time, you know. Yeah. All I do, yeah, man, Vanis, Van, um, Vanet Dixon, Trisha K. Simmons, Tracy mm. Barnes, Alison Beckford, yeah. uh, Fastin Lawson, all of those persons. Were yeah, man. How hard Dagati. Yeah, man, and Marvin, I'm, I'm tell you something, Marvin has been playing a big role in um, having Mr. Dagati there, as well as Usain Bolt. You know, I'm going to beat can you see him both? But the thing is, I think um we should be able to attract more at least because I was talking to Dagati um about three or four days ago. And I was saying to him that we need to to kind of um broaden the horizon in terms of recruitment. You know, we need to start inviting, we need to start putting meets together at William Nip. The all age school meet at William Nip. We need to start yeah, the primary hosting. school. Yeah, we need to call. We need to get Usain Bolt and Marvin and this to be on the ground. Yeah, can have you can have the, the, the Bolt invitational at William Nibman. You know something? You know something? I suggested that you know to Bolt and Marvin, you know. I said to them, listen, you guys need to have something in your honor. You understand? You need to have a legacy. You need to have something that when it when it happens is Marvin and Bolt. Can we not leaving out Marvin enough? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have two meets. You can have one that is dedicated to sprinting and one dedicated to the, the mile and above, mile and but below. The and but the two of them, the two of them are sprinters. <laughs> no, no, that's something where you could do it that way, or you could call it the 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 the, 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 the um the, the Bolt Anderson Invitational. All right, all right, yeah, that sounds better. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and and just do yeah. I think that is good, and you'd make it for primary school or under thirteen, and you recruit yeah, kids from that, early. I have been suggesting that to them. I always think like Mr. Trilani could do that, you know, because you also have the you don't have to keep it at the school. Probably you could find a way to even keep some of that up by the, the stadium. Because yeah, it's not being used anyways. Of course, of course. Because, all right, look at this guy. I don't know what his name. I don't know his name. I mean, he's from Duncan's. He went to Petersfield. You remember that oh, guy that won the race what, and do the gun? What, what Antonio Watson? Yes, I do the gun. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand he's from 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 Duncan's. Yeah, There's this go. guy called Gray that ran for Jamaica the other day. Is it Gray? Something to that nature. He's from Chilani. How can how can you see him bold? Attend Chila, um, at Chilani school. Marvin has attend Chila, and yet still other schools that were unknown put it that way in track and field. Yeah, it would be more attractive to those at least than, than the school that they are um, right there. Oh, at it is simple. What you can do is make them like, I mean, these guys, I don't know, like you can say, listen. Um, boy, we know you're busy, but just be the figure you can be the um, the the, the, the um, ambassador, not even the ambassador, but the director of recruiting. Recruiting is that gonna do the, that? Uh, our, our, our Marvin, listen, we go, we just got you, you're the figure, you're the director of recruiting. So when we when we say that, listen, um, you just make the call, you just make the call. To the parent and say hi i am usain bolt i'm going to put you on because we'd like for your child that done the argument you know yeah really? but, but i tell you something <laughs> it, it is it is easier to talk than than done <laughs> <laughs> because um right now um marvin and um and usain bolt they're very very busy people busy you know because yeah, yeah, they yeah. themselves are business you know and um what actually happened is um they have people around them you know, would have to do that type of job. Yeah. You know? So it, it's it's not going to be possible for them to do. But the thing is, what is possible is for the meet to happen, and they are present. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if a man knows that you're saying, "Well, all right, let me tell you something. 
If you there England, you know, you get you see him go to be at a place, you know. You know, you 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 you're smiling the next morning <laughs> in terms of definitely. Money. Yeah. So if you see him bold, is at a trap meet, and they know that you see him bold is gonna be there. You know how many businesses would be willing to be a part of it? Absolutely. You know? Yeah. Absolutely. So let me ask you this. No, you have a son uh, that is 10. Yeah. No, right? He gets to 17. Big talent. Mm. Garrett Southgate calls you. Yeah. Jamaica calls you. Yeah. Where does he play? First stop at Jamaica, brother. <laughs> First stop. Me that Jamaica, me behind and grew for Jamaica. My son, so my son. What about the people them who say no? Um, who said to you, no, but but a local you forget the chance, your son, your son they are foreign. No, but my son is a Jamaican. My son, mom is Jamaican. I am Jamaican. You understand? The thing is, his development is elsewhere. You know, doesn't mean that he's not Jamaican. You understand? Okay. The thing is, if you ask my son. What is he is? He's straight on Jamaican. You understand? So the the, the the um the whole thing about foreign players representing Jamaica. You know, I I I I liked what Rene Simois did the, the, when he was there. You know, and um, with having foreign uh, our our English born players, English Jamaican born players playing for the country. As long as they are committed to the program, you understand? As long yeah. as they're not there for a ride, yeah. I don't see a problem with them representing the country. Okay. You understand? Okay. If a man, if you call a man, you know, if you call a man, you know, let me tell you what I'm against. You see, if you call him and him turn you down because him think England will call him, and then you yes. realize that England not going to call him. Yes. And then I lean for on Jamaica. I don't believe in that. Go and go suffer and not play for no country. You understand? If me call you, make a choice. Don't wait on England. And if England turn you down, then you decided that listen. I okay. want to play for Jamaica now. No man. I don't I mean, the way me love Jamaica, believe me. Me don't want a man look at Jamaica as no second man business. You understand? Go on one side. Okay. I see so if, the man, if, the, if the man say, for example, why he will look at him option to play for England, you 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 not into that? No. Okay. No, I'm not into that. I'm not. Oh, you don't have a problem with them playing for Jamaica. What is the problem? No, 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 no. I'm just I'm just asking because I know a lot of Jamaicans feel like he's the only man who who born a Jamaica supposed to play for Jamaica. I don't agree that, with it, you know, but there are people who share that. How foolish is that, man? Okay. Foolish is that. If you if you if you born elsewhere of Jamaican parents, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. You're a Jamaican. If a pig born in a cow pen, you have no pigs, huh? Yeah? I'm not a cow. I'm a pig. Let's say go. Yeah, yeah. I see a person just put this. Is, look like a um, auto diagnostic says, although there are many a Bolt and Anderson that went to William Nib, but equipment and fund is rare. Just today, the track team left for Penn Relays and they are totally underfunded. Okay, um, they are totally underfunded. But how? I mean, they, they um. Their, their, their accommodation has been sorted. We, you know, we um, the thing is, there's a, there's a problem in terms of um, in terms of funding. Yeah. What what actually happened is that um, we were contacted in regards to funding and um, for accommodation, for just for accommodation. It came out a little bit too late, really. You know. But we yeah. were able to put together the um the cost of um funding 
for the accommodation of the athletes. So the athletes are comfortable in terms of accommodation. Their tickets were um, sorted. And, and, um, and I must mention as well that Marvin Anderson has been playing a big role in the track and field program to make sure it, it's happening. You know, there are, there are certain things that need to be improved in terms of funding. Yes, you understand? But if, as I just said, Mr. Dagati is a very um, good coach. He knows what he's doing. So um, if this person or those people are, are listening, what they need to do is to, to encourage um, the program or people that are part of the program to actually try and put certain things together. We have, we have a thing called periodization. I don't know if they do it in Jamaica. In yeah, Chakal, we know periodize, renewal periodization. Uh, okay, so we have a thing called periodization. We know exactly what it's going to do happen when. You understand? So we definitely put certain things together and make sure that at least concentrate on athletics. You understand? And 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 the funding should be there for them to be comfortable in whatever in whatever means. So yes, I agree that we we um William need need loads of funding, need loads more. You know, but we as the um, pastors, we can do a lot more. But we need to be organized. We need to um, get everything together and make sure that um, whenever anybody call upon us in terms of um, athletics, we are able to actually reach out to them. It's just like football. Because Codfish, Kevin, that Keegan, and those yes. boys, they, 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 we, we put together and we, we buy football boots and everything for the Dakasta Cup team and and I'm sure that um they are comfortable in terms of Dakasta Cup. Okay. But the track and okay. field so, needs to be looked at and I agree with that person that um Marvin and 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 and, and you see Bolt alone cannot do it. We have a big big million um, loads of people who pass through William Lim who are in in in, in places of you know where they Insurance. can um, assist. Yes. You understand, but how can we get that done? Come back to the factor um, of of structuring. You know, we need to get the organization, the Pastors Association, up and running. Technology, just like you're in Jamaica, I'm in the UK. Yeah, technology can work. Yes, yes, yes. That is true. And I tell you something. I mean, we have um, we have an organization. Um, ex-soldiers and we have meeting every two every first every first um, every second Saturday of every month I'm in England most of the guys are in um, Jamaica and um, and in America and we have meeting and we assist loads of soldiers that are that, that are on our times at the moment you know so we, as William Nib and Parsley, we can do the same. We can do even better. You know, so we just have to come together and try our best to um to build something that whenever Mr. Dagati or anybody call upon us, we are able to that's do something. That's a good coach, though. One thing I know that if he can do replicate what he did at Manage with William Nib, that's a good, good program right there. I'm telling you. Well, he needs talent as well. Yeah. And as you said, he needs funding and support. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Because we cannot have a coach searching to get money from nowhere. Them days pass and gone, man. Yeah. We're supposed to have funding put down ready for, for the man to, to, to carry out his program. To carry out his, yeah. Listen, I mean, I, I know you have to watch your Arsenal game. Just for yes. you to know, they are down one. Oh, God. Yeah, they are down one. So I don't know if you want to rush to go and watch it, but yeah, man. So, but I'm going to release you. Uh, but it was a very, very good conversation. I know we'll speak again. It was it yeah. was quite enjoyable speaking with you. I did promise you that I'd do 45 minutes so yeah. that you'd get to go and watch a game and we have gone 55. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. Um, I want to thank you, Mr. Darlan Clark. And I hope the persons in William Nibby are listening and, um, and you continue to do your good work and continue to de develop talent um you know home and abroad and um continue to support the track and field program um yeah. great hearing your story and the impact that you're making and again i want much. to thank you so much for coming on and i know that we will talk again 
because I think we have some more things that we need yes. to discuss, yes. especially when it comes on to track and field. Maybe you can shed some light on some things that I need to learn and understand about this, the sport itself. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm willing yeah. whenever you're ready. You know? Definitely, definitely. All right. All right, go on and enjoy the rest of your Arsenal game. And yeah, sorry for keeping you past the, the, the start time. <laughs> That's no worries, man. That's no worries, man. That's no worries. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, man. Thank you're you. welcome. Yeah, yeah, man. Bye. All right. There you go, people. Our, our chat with Mr. Darlan Clark, former William Nib standout, played cricket, did track and field, also played football. He now, now lives in the United Kingdom, was a part of the early preparation stage of Usain Bolt, Marvin Anderson, right? Um, so I want to thank him for his time coming on. I am Manningsman. This has been I Am Sure Sports. And I want to ask you, as usual, before you go, to hit the like button. If you have not yet subscribed to the platform, go ahead and subscribe. Also, share the content with others so they will know um, about this platform. I'll leave you with a word from our sponsors, uh, trick Nick. Made up of 18 Jamaican herbs and spices. Add delicious, bold flavor to your next grilling experience. Flavoring sauce, a marinade, basting, condiment, or topping. Trick Nick Jerk Barbecue Sauce. 